Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are going to explore the introduction section of our uh, social studies text, Pearson's My World, Indiana History. We're on pages IN26 and 27. Uh, this precedes the first chapter in our text, and this section is about geography skills, as you can see with the title up at the top right here. Um, this section uh, is going to serve two purposes. One, uh, we're going to learn about some geography skills uh, to help us navigate the information in the coming chapters. And two, uh, we're going to learn a little bit about uh, some text features that are going to help guide our understanding of what uh, the authors of this text are trying to teach us. So as you can see, the title of this uh, two-page spread is Five themes of geography. Now I know that because there's a heading right up here, five themes of geography. Uh, and there are five sections, as you can see, that are uh, uh, consisting of a bit of text that's preceded with a subheading right up here. And then there is a graphic with a caption. Uh, and the text and the graphic help uh, to work together to give us a better understanding of the concept. And there are five concepts that go with geography, five themes. First being location. So if I wanted to learn a little bit about this uh, theme of location, I would read the text uh, below it. It says, location, where can the Great Lakes be found? So location is all about finding where something is on a map. The Great Lakes are located in the United States and Canada. The five lakes include Lake Erie, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan, Lake Ontario, and Lake Superior. So I would read the text, and then I would compare what the text is telling me to the graphics. So there's Lake Superior, there's Lake Michigan, and so on. So as I read through these pages, I need to use the text features that are provided to help me better understand the information. So I'm going to pair the text with the photograph, or in the case of location, a map to help me understand what the text is trying to tell me. Uh, as we progress through uh, the text, there's going to be more features that I'm going to be pointing out. Uh, but for today, what I would like you to do is I want you to read these sections that describe the five themes of geography. And uh, once you do, we're going to talk a little bit about them in length in a class discussion. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks.